25, all of the following agents are considered as possible etiological agents for viral gastroenteritis except for the famous fellow Parvo B19. Parvo B19 is associated with fifth disease, slapped cheek appearance. So, associated with fifth disease, slapped cheek appearance can be see seen in Parvo B virus. It can lead to aplastic crisis. It can cause aplastic crisis in the patient with sickle cell or hemolytic anemia. It may also increase the risk of systemic sclerosis. Systemic sclerosis not associated with diarrhea. That is our option number D. Question 26. Measurement of which urinary electrolyte is particularly useful in diagnosis of a patient with metabolic alkalosis. In metabolic alkalosis, the causes are based on urine chloride level. Because if the urine chloride level is low and urine chloride level is high, we can decide whether the patient is having GI related problem or renal cause of disease. That is why the correct answer is urine chloride level in patient with metabolic alkalosis. In 27, all of the following features are seen in viral pneumonia. Viral pneumonia is typically different from the bacterial pneumonia in the exception presence of alveolar exudates. Presence of alveolar exudates is feature more of a bacterial infection than a viral infection. 28. A 76 year old man is admitted with right frontal intracerebral hemorrhage. So cerebral hemorrhage is a high risk for epilepsy or convulsion disorder. After initial improvement in the neurological status, he has a bit less responsive. EEG shows periodic discharges without definite evolution. What is the treatment? So this is what is typically non-convulsive status. Non-convulsive status has now been identified in elderly ICU patients with hemorrhagic disease with severe metabolic derangement, they can develop this symptom. To treat this symptom, best management is to give sequential doses of midazolam. Midazolam does not cause much respiratory suppression. Hence, we can safely give it in a patient to help till sensorium improves. Right? That's what we can give. 29. Up chest compression to respiration ratio of a lone survivor in the CPR across all ages is 30 is to 2. Lone survivor is there. I am going to give 30 is to 2. If there are two survivors, it would be 15 is to 2. If it is a double survivor or two rescuers, then it would have been 15 is to 2. So, correct answer is 30 is to 2 for this question.